and today we are going to see dental waxes before we begin with dental waxes i'm so sure that every one of us has used dental waxes in our ug days in the whole procedure of your dental processing while making a rpd or a cd or maybe while making any other appliance in the ortho we have used dental waxes right so dental waxes are what they are nothing but super cool liquids okay super cool liquids are said to be as dental waxes now dental waxes has got a particular uh, classification which we have to see okay so if you see the classification the first that we have here is the pattern waxes what do you mean by pattern pattern means something that is shape okay some kind of structure some kind of shape so basically it is used to make any kind of pattern in dentistry or i can say it is a very soft and shapeable wax you can easily carve out this wax the most common example is have you seen we have done a uh, crown crafting or you can say we have shaped a crown or a crown pattern has been drawn when we are making a crown like in the casting procedure okay so now the sub types of the pattern wax it waxes could be the inlay wax resin wax casting wax and the base plate wax among all of these waxes the one most common is your inlay waxes okay inlay waxes is the very common wax and then the other common one is your base plate waxes moving to these waxes first okay first we'll see this only so inlay wax is nothing it is just a very very uh, soft or medium consistency of waxes you can say it is available in two consistency soft and medium if it is very soft no obviously it cannot be used on the patient because there are chances that the patient might uh, engulf that okay that there are chances it might go into the throat so obviously it is not used in the patient but it could be used indirectly onto the cast so when we do casting procedure and we fabricate a crown over the cast uh, that is said to be an example of your indirect inlay casting procedure when we say medium consistency that means comparatively thicker and of course could be used directly into the patient's mouth coming to the base plate waxes base plate waxes again could be of three types depending on their consistency this could be soft type medium type or hard type again the same concept is here also if it is soft could be indirectly used onto the cast not on the patient's mouth if it is medium of hard we can use it directly onto the patient's mouth the thing to be kept in mind here is that medium type is a normal climate condition kind of wax okay in normal climate conditions we can use the medium thickness in areas where it is like very very hot in that areas we should use a hard type so that the wax doesn't melt out on the room temperature okay now always remember whenever we are supposed to a uh, heat a particular wax we are always supposed to use heat annealers and not directly heated onto the flame okay they are actually thermostatically controlled ovens which are going to provide heating temperature just above the softening point okay so this was about the first one that is the pattern waxes we will see all the pictures study it in more uh, described form but for now this is in brief okay next coming to the processing wax the processing wax is basically used as an accessory wax or the utility wax what do you mean by the term process see the word itself is having the meaning process means it is used in various procedures while casting a cd or a rpd okay in various procedures of cd rpd in various steps you can use these wax you can find these wax and i'm so sure we have used it the beading wax boxing wax modeling wax sticky wax block out wax or the white wax so all these waxes are something we used on different procedures okay that is the reason it is said as pro uh, processing wax or it is also said to be the utility wax because it is used in different procedures okay now coming to the last one that is the impression waxes the name itself is telling you it will help you to take impressions either corrective impression or bite registration wax in case of co and cr moving ahead further now we'll in depth study about the most important wax that is inlay wax as i told you this is a pattern wax it is used to fabricate some kind of pattern okay whether it is in cd rpd crown bridges implants anything now to see the composition we have a mnemonic here to learn this composition just remember this cpug okay cpug is easy so cpug se aapka first is going to be c 
and uh, for C you have the carnauba wax for P you have the paraffin uh, paraffin wax then for G you have the gum dammer so basically U is not having any use here but CPG is having a use so the first one is the paraffin wax see the paraffin wax is basically the most important component that is the reason it is taking 40 to 60 percent of the composition again it is going to be really flaky and dry wax it is not going to have any gloss but of course this is base wax so it is very very important we can't miss on this next we come to is gum dammer now gum is something very sticky slopey shiny right so here also the gum dammer is going to have a same effect it will overcome all the disadvantages of your paraffin wax so for example i said your paraffin wax is very dry it's very flaky it is having no gloss no gloss it's just having very good strength so what will happen we will add this gum dammer and this gum dammer will provide gloss luster resist flakiness increase the smoothness so all the disadvantages of the paraffin wax are being overcome next we come to the carnauba wax see carnauba wax is a very hard wax again it could be used as in place of gum dammer at times also it provides a more effect of gloss than gum dammer okay as compared to gum dammer the gloss given by this carnauba wax is more very very important feature of carnauba wax is it decreases the flow at room temperature which means that when you add carnauba wax your uh, wax will stay solid at the room temperature it will not flow or it will not melt easily at room temperature last component is the candelilla and that is basically added when the carnauba wax is not available so when carnauba is not available then you can add this okay now carnauba wax is available in form of cakes tubs sticks i'll show you the picture what are the indications we have already discussed in fabricating the wax pattern for crowns bridges veneers inlay onlay pontex anything okay now this is what i was saying you see wax pattern this is in a casting procedure picture this is a casting procedure picture so these wax pro uh, wax fabrication wax patterns are made up using the inlay wax because inlay wax is comparatively soft one so the soft inlay wax is used here that is easily carvable that is easily polishable it is not going to have any voids it will be very smooth and it is very easy to shape okay you know even a smallest of your details could be carved on this one so that is the reason inlay wax is so important and so broadly used in dentistry if you see the pictures here is what can uh, your inlay wax look like looks like you might have seen this in your clinics or in your colleges as well this is a box kind of structure and in which you have these colorful the most common one you all must have seen is the inlay wax that is blue in color okay it could be as bars or sticks are also available okay so this is the inlay wax mostly it is found in this plastic container next we have casting wax we have seen that casting wax was one of the example of your pattern wax only see it was one of your example of the pattern wax only the casting wax so the casting wax is mainly used in cases where we have to cast partial dentures so where we have to make cast partial dentures there we can use the casting waxes it is available in different thickness it could be 28 gauge 30 gauge so on different uh, thickness it is available now see in the picture you see this is a wax pattern which is used making casting wax now what we will do is we will make the casting procedure happen and in spite of this wax pattern we will remove this wax uh, like we we are essentially in a process what will happen is this wax pattern is going to get replaced by metal okay molten metal and so now in place of your wax metal your wax it would be metal which will come into place and that is how a cast partial denture is fabricated so what will happen when you will do the casting procedure all this wax pattern will disappear and the same metal will come and fill up this place and it will make the cast partial denture that is what do you mean by the use of casting waxes now coming to boxing wax we all know what boxing is after for example you have taken an impression from impression compound in a completely edentulous patient now what you need to do is you need to pour a cast so what you will do is you will create these walls all around the impression that you have taken okay a wall is being created all around so that when you pour 
uh, your um, plaster into it when you have to pour the plaster to get the cast you are actually not pouring it around okay it just stays on to the place so for that we are just creating a walls that controls the flow of plaster okay so that is what you use for boxing waxes this is what boxing looks like before waxing uh, before boxing we use another thing that is beading now beading is what it is basically closing the sulcus space before boxing so this blue color thing here this is also wax and around your impression so this is your impression compound impression around your impression you have done this boxing beading procedure okay now after the beading you will now create the boxing procedure while creating a uh, wall around it so this is what beading waxes are if you see how it looks like they are basically thin strips of waxes which are available you can take one one strip and you can do beading like this after this you will do after this you will do the boxing procedure okay now we come to the sticky wax sticky wax is another very important wax it is usually yellowish brownish or light brown in color it is very important wax because most of the time when your dentures are broken or fractured patient might come to you like my denture is being fractured now what to do so it's like a temporary stabilization you're providing to the denture with the help of it so that till the moment you are not getting a new denture you have so this is usually available in form of sticks it could be available in form of sheets as well where do we use it i've already told you to basically stabilize the broken dentures or bridges while the new one is fabricated so it is just used for temporary stabilization okay for temporary stabilization you can use these sticky waxes moving ahead to the last one the last one that we have is the white wax so white wax are basically also said as mock wax meet up why is it said so for example a patient comes to you and he says i want to get my veneers done or maybe he is having midline diastema and he says you that i want my midline diastema to be closed so you can't directly start carving or shaping the tooth right you won't ask the patient to sit on the dental chair and you'll start trimming the teeth right so what we do is we are going to show everything first on a cast we are going to demo demonstrate all of these procedures on a dental cast first if the patient is satisfied from the results then only we will go on to the patient directly right and so we can say that these white color waxes are used as templates for your anterior crown as well as your veneer so you see it looks like teeth completely it helps the patient for it helps in better education of the patient so that is the use of your white waxes so this was all the basic information about waxes the most important is the inlay wax and of course the classification of dental waxes is very important if still you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section do like and share it with your friends thank you so much